Welcome to our Facebook synchronization training video. This new tool enables you to sync your Facebook account or accounts to manage by stats so you can automatically create Facebook custom audiences and upload the customers daily so that your custom audiences are continually growing and continually targeting your new customers. Let's do a quick walkthrough of how to set this up and get it going. First, you'll need to sync your Facebook profile. You'll find the Facebook synchronization settings under Customers, Synchronization. Click the plus button here, then give the profile account a name, like the brand or company name. The type will be Facebook. We will have additional options here soon. Then, click here to link the account. You'll then see some instructions. Read those over and follow the steps. If not already logged into Facebook, you'll need to do so. Our system will direct you to Facebook to log in, and once done, we'll return you to Manage by Stats with a success message. Then click here to connect the Facebook profile you want. Then, click Done. You'll then see the profile listed. Click the plus button and create a name for the audience. Select the SKU or SKUs you'd like to connect up to this audience. Under Contacts Type, you can choose three options, Amazon and Real, Real Emails Only, Amazon Only. Choose the option you'd like for the audience you're creating. Note that Real Emails are available through our Email Appends service. If you've not done an Appends to get Real Emails for your customers but are interested, see the Real Emails menu item here in your Manage by Stats. After you've selected your Contacts Type, you will then select Create Audience By. This is important, so please take note. We give you the ability to create one or several audiences at the same time. Here's how this breaks down. One audience for all the selected SKUs. This takes all the SKUs you entered and puts them into one audience on Facebook. One audience for each brand in the selected SKUs. This takes all the SKUs you entered and creates multiple audiences on Facebook at the same time, depending on how many brands you took SKUs from. So let's say you selected your best-selling SKUs from two brands and then choose this option. The system would create two audiences, breaking apart the SKUs appropriately by brand. One audience for each ASIN in the selected SKUs. This takes all the SKUs you entered and creates audiences for each ASIN. One audience for each SKU. This takes all the SKUs you entered and creates audiences for each SKU. The next section is Audience Name Prefix. This section adds a prefix to the Facebook audience created. Before the prefix, you'll see MBS as a default. So let's say you put Buyers. You'd then see in your Facebook audiences a new audience called MBS Buyers. Once you've added the prefix you want, click Add. And that's it. You can now go to your Accounts page and you'll see the system start to update the figure of how many contacts it's uploaded to the Facebook audience. Once you have at least 1,000 contacts in this audience, you can then start creating Facebook ads for it. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.